Now we're in chapter seven, and it's all about money and time. This is lesson 7.1, dimes, nickels, and pennies. Dimes, nickels, and pennies are U.S. coins. A cent symbol, that's this C with a line through it, is written after the value. And the size of a coin does not show its value. This is a dime, it's 10 cents, and it's smaller in size than this nickel that is worth five cents. And this dime is smaller in size than this penny that is valued at one cent. So remember, the size of a coin does not show its value. A penny, that's a one cent coin. We write it as one with the cent symbol. It's got President Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States, on the front, and it's the only coin that has the face facing to the right. All the other coins, the face is facing to the left. On the back of the coin, we can see it says United States of America, and this is the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. And if you look very closely, there's a statue of Lincoln sitting down in the center there, like the real Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. 100 pennies is equal to $1. This is the nickel, it's a five cent coin, and we write it as five cents, like right there. We write a five with the cent symbol. It's got President Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States on the front. See how he's facing to the left? And on the back, this building is Monticello. It was Jefferson's home in Virginia, and one nickel is equal to five pennies. This is a dime. It's a 10 cent coin. It would be written as 10 with the cent symbol. On the front, it's got President Franklin D. Roosevelt. He was our 32nd president of the United States. And on the back, here is an olive branch. And if you look closely, you'll see the little round olives on it. There's a torch in the center and an oak branch on the right side. And one dime is equal to 10 pennies. We can count dimes by tens. They're each worth 10 cents. We just count 10, 20, 30, 40 cents. Because each nickel is equal to five cents, we can count nickels by five to find their value. Five, 10, 15, 20 cents. Because pennies have a value of one cent, we count pennies by ones. We have one, two, three, four cents. When we count coins, we start with the greatest value coins and count on. Here we have two dimes, that's the greatest value coins. We have two nickels, that's a middle value, and then the ones would be the least value. So we count by tens, we have 10, and another dime, that would be 20. Now we have 20 cents. We're adding a nickel, that's five. So now we have 20 plus five, that's 25. We're adding another nickel, 25 plus five is 30 cents. We're adding a penny, that's one cent, which means the total value of these coins is 31 cents. Let's try it again. We need to count on to find the total value. We start with the greatest value coin, that's the dime, and it's worth 10 cents. We're going to add a nickel of five cents to this 10 cents. 10 plus five is 15, now we're at 15 cents. We add another five, 15 plus five is 20 cents. Now we're gonna add ones because we have pennies. We're at 21. That means we have 22 here, and we have 23 here, which means the total value of these coins is 23 cents. Here it's telling us to put 25 cents into the circle. We need to put 
two tens and a five into the circle. Do you know which coins are the tens? If you said dimes, you're right. If we put this dime in the circle, that's 10. And if we put this dime in the circle, that's 20. Now we just need to put a five cents into the circle. If we put this nickel into the circle, we'll have two dimes and one nickel, and that's equal to 25 cents. Tala had two dimes and four nickels. She gave one dime and one nickel to her younger brother. What is the total value of the coins she has now? And we think we can subtract the coins she gave away, then find the value of the remaining coins. She had two dimes and four nickels. Her younger brother got one dime and one nickel. If we have two dimes and we take a dime away, we now have one dime. That's 10 cents. She had four nickels. She gave away one nickel. Now she has three nickels. Each nickel is five cents, so that's counting by fives, five, ten, fifteen cents. She had ten cents and fifteen cents left. Do you know how much she has? She has twenty-five cents now. The value of the coins she has now is twenty-five cents. And remember to write the cent sign so we know we're working with money. Su Jin has six pennies and four dimes. She buys a pencil that costs 30 cents. How much money does Su Jin have now? And we think, how much money did she have at first? Four dimes and six pennies, we can count by tens. That would be 10, 20, 30, 40 cents. And six pennies that are one cent each, that's 40 plus six she had 46 cents. So she had 46 cents at first. She bought a pencil for 30 cents. Do you know how much she has now? We do six minus zero, which is six. We do four tens minus three tens, which is one ten. That means Su Jin has 16 cents now. So we can find the total value of the coins she has now, then subtract 30 cents to find how much she has now. We also could have thought of 30 cents as three dimes and thought, well, she has one dime, six pennies. That's 16 cents. So remember when you're writing the value of the coins to put a cent sign and remember the size of a coin does not show its value. Our next lesson, 7.2, we're going to talk about quarters. Those are 25 cent coins. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you join me next time. Bye.